drum roll please <laughs> so this is basically an organization first of all you guys like my t-shirt though you guys like that what it do baby hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel and thank you for coming across this content i really appreciate it. and for the old subbies thanks for coming back for watching this video liking commenting and sharing so let's dive right into the video but before we do that i'd like to give huge shout out to the people that are always first to comment on my videos first to like and first to view i appreciate you guys a lot and it really means a lot to me and yeah keep sharing 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 this video is sponsored by house movement organization so house is basically i'm going to use my shirt to explain this her empowerment race zone so this is an organized, a non-governmental organization formed to help eradicate menstrual poverty. Would I say in Zambia or around the world? Listen, in general, anywhere, everywhere, where we can do it, we can do it. Where we can assist, we can assist, because that's why we're here. So I have a few questions that were asked, and so I'm going to answer the few questions. Like the founder of Hearts is Natasha Sichula is a student at Edgewood College in the United States of America. She's Zambian by the way. Her Empowerment Race Zone is a movement that encompasses mentorship, volunteerism, scholarship and innovation to eradicate period poverty and ensure that girls do not miss classes because of their periods. Her aims at empowering menstruals with leadership skills to make holistic change in their communities. It creates an enriching zone where a girl can run her race towards social economic empowerment. House was formed on May the 3rd, 2018. So this year we actually had an anniversary for Haz on the 3rd of May. Well, you can become a part of Haz as a volunteer or ambassador. Usually they do a call for each of these positions and interested applicants can actually email the email is going to be put over here and also in the description box below Friday flow facts are there to combat the myths surrounding menstrual health hygiene management some of the major sponsors have been Edgewood College Days for Girls and Diva Cups Inc a number of people have asked me how I became a house ambassador. Well, so basically they put a call out for ambassadors and mentors and in the call out they had requirements that you had to meet like procedures so you had to email them exactly what they asked you to email them and then after that they did the selection and then they got back to the people they had actually picked. Why did I want to be a part of house? Because I wanted something that would help me in character development, also helping me as an individual to see things from a different dynamic, for me to see things in a different light. Because most most of us don't understand that being able to afford sanitary towels is a blessing. We see it as something simple, but it's not something simple when other girls out there can't go to school because. They can't afford a pack of pads or tampons or, or menstrual cups, whatever it is that they may need. So I'm glad to be a part of HAZ because I'm able to help my communities and the communities around me in the ways that I am able to help them out. Some outreaches have been done. One in India where food was given out. Um, another one happened in Muflera where buckets were buckets were given out and one is going to happen in Kitwe that i'm aware of where masks are going to homemade masks reusable masks are going to be given out to people during this pandemic so if you want to become a part of her movement please make sure to send an email of why you want to become a part of her movement and what you know about her movement and then the administration or the health support team is going to get back to you 
when they do actually review your application so yeah so guys this video this is not the end of the video make sure you follow her YouTube make make sure you follow her on Instagram at and also make sure you follow them on Twitter on Facebook and also make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because new videos should be uploaded in the near future to give you guys an insight of the work that has us done so far at the end of this video I've inserted a few pictures and clips and videos of what has has done so far make sure you also visit their website and if you have any queries any questions feel free to ask for any insights yeah there so though the the first two as some of the girls we work with 
the next two are some are the women that are helping with the sewing of the pads and those are how the pads look like this is a sample if you can see on my screen just by giving girls this providing them with the skills of how to make reusable cloth sanitary pads while helping them stay in school so during coronavirus the pandemic it has limited our reach and our outreach programs you know, most organizations, most policy makers are focused the, on the right. first two are some of the girls we work with. The next two are some are the women that are helping with the sewing of the pads. And those are how the pads look like. This is a sample if you can see on my screen. Just by giving girls this, providing them with the skills of how to make reusable cloth sanitary pads while helping them stay in school. So during coronavirus, the pandemic, it has limited our reach and our outreach programs. You know, most organizations, most policy makers are focused on providing food, providing relief to women, or to people around, ensuring that people keep social distancing, but they're forgetting the basic needs that women need. Underprivileged women will not be able to stockpile reusable, or will not be able to stockpile feminine hygiene products. So when we teach them how to make reusable cloth sanitary pads, they're going to be able to manage the menstruation better. So what, what we've done in order to avoid or to combat the COVID-19 is that we've transitioned, instead of having in-person mentorship programs where we pay our college students and high school students, we're now doing virtual mentorship programs. So we have a six month program where we have um, uh, the college students that are being mentored by other people. And we're also reading an amazing book by uh, this Nigerian author, Chimamandu Adechi. I think, I think that's her name. It's called We Should All Be Feminists. I love that book because I believe that women have... Cause sometimes the 